All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Gillis the Kid, and it's been a while since I did a phone review, but I'm back, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G. This was just released, and it's not the first time that I've played around with a Z Fold. The first Z Fold that came out, it was sort of experimental. Um, most of the YouTubers and reviewers, they got their hands on it. It had a lot of screen problems. Some people even tried to remove the screen when they shouldn't have. Um, but a lot of people didn't know. It was just an all-around disaster in my opinion. And then Samsung brought out the second Z Fold. And it was still expensive. I think it was like $1,900. Almost $2,000 depending on where you live. But it was pretty much the same. Same thing screen problems and a lot of people were afraid to buy it because of the high price but now things are a little bit different I've been playing around with the Z Fold 3 um, one of my friends had it before me and he actually let me uh, get to play around with it and we're gonna be talking a little bit about it because there's a lot of things that have changed and there's a lot of things that didn't change so out of the box, first thing you're going to notice, this is how it's laid out in its tablet form. And then when you open it, it looks just like uh, a mini tablet, but it works exactly like all the other Samsung phones. So as you can see right here, these are all the apps. And if you swipe up, you get your app tray. And then you can move left to right. And then when you want to see your notifications, you can just swipe down from the top. Um, Samsung, they still have that little side tab right here. So um, you can look at all your recent apps. That's always a nice touch if, if you've only used like a couple of apps. And then, um, so if you look at the top right here, there's a camera. Let me see if you can see that. It's a little circle and that's a 10 megapixel camera so 10 megapixel that's pretty good you can use that for selfies and whatnot uh, so then when you close it this is how it looks it's pretty heavy too there's a cover screen so yeah we can just swipe up and it looks just like uh, any other phone that you might hold these are the apps and you can swipe up, you can get your app tray, you can swipe down to get your notifications, you can go left and right and you can also see there's the little tab right there, uh, there's the home button, you can go back and there's also a camera on the front right here, it's another little circle and that is a 4 megapixel camera. Now, 4 megapixels, that was, what, like 2008? Most phones back then, they had uh, either 2 or 4 megapixels. That's really not a lot. I don't really know what you're going to do with that. I'm guessing you can use it as, like, a small selfie camera. It might be good, so I really don't know. I'm definitely going to test it out. And then this is the hinge. So the hinge on on the old Z Folds was another problem. Samsung has built a stronger hinge and they have more uh, bristles inside to sweep away dust. It is not dust resistant so I would definitely keep this device away from any sand. Um, now the one thing that did sell me on this device is that it is rated uh, IP8 uh, water resistant so that's pretty good none of the other folds was water resistant so uh, I did see a video where someone actually dropped this in water for a couple of minutes and it worked perfectly fine so that is that's really good to be water resistant it does have stereo speakers so on the bottom you can see the speaker grill right here uh, right on top of the uh, charging port that is USB type C it does not have a headphone jack it should for this price though and then at the top you can see the speaker grill 
right there. So yeah, it does have um, stereo speakers. That's always a nice touch. And then this is the power button. The power button has a fingerprint scanner built in right alongside the volume up and down. And then you can see your SIM card tray right there. And speaking of your SIM card tray, most of Samsung phones, they have uh, expandable storage. This one, unfortunately, does not. Uh, but you can get it in two different storage options. So you can get it in 256 gigs or you can get the 512 gigabytes, which is a lot of storage. Um, I do know people who have used uh, most of the 512 storage up but if you're not the type of person who like to uh, store a lot of videos you should be fine and then on the back this is the camera it's basically the same camera from last year so the first one right here that's the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and then in the middle you have the 12 megapixel wide angle camera and then on the bottom you have your 12 megapixel telephoto camera with the LED flash so um, I'm pretty sure the cameras are more than acceptable um, for this price uh, which is $1,800 I wish that this device had the camera of the ultra that would have been really nice and then let's take a look at the software so when you open up the phone uh, one of my favorite things about this is you can multitask so if you open up the camera uh, actually yeah let's let's open up the camera and then we have like Samsung notes and then we'll just open up the text messages here too so uh, if you hold on one of the apps you'll see a couple of different options here so app info open in split screen view, open in pop-up view, or you can lock the app and keep it open. But we're gonna do pop-up view here, and you can move it around the screen, and then let's get, let's get the text messages here. Open in pop-up view. Yep, there's two open, and then we're gonna do notes, open in pop-up view. So now we have three apps open at a time. Yep. So, so once you click on the app, you'll see these little icons. And you can uh, do split screen, you can close it or widen it. And yep, we can do split screen here. Yeah. So now you have three apps open at once. So I have my Samsung Notes, my calendar, and my text messages. And then you will see three little dots in the center here. So you can actually switch them around if you want. Like that. And then you can make them smaller if you want. You can, you can make it bigger. And you can just keep switching them around. You can have your text messages up front or you can have like the text messages on the right side. It's just a pretty cool feature that Samsung has as far as like multitasking and I like it a lot. And if you just want to close them, you know, you can just hit close all. But as you can see right there, I do have three apps open at once. And there's, there's other tricks and shortcuts that this device have as far as like watching movies so if you actually turn your phone like this and you sit it down uh, technically that's called flex mode and you can watch movies and maybe you can like text message on the bottom screen uh, the Z flip had flex mode too so that's just another feature that they're bringing back and uh, speaking of the Z Flip, uh, I got my trusty Z Flip right here. So this is the Z Flip and that's how that looks. 
in flex mode right alongside the Z fold and another thing I wanted to show you so when the Z fold is closed uh, remember I told you this have a uh, 6.2 inch display so the Z flip was a 6.7 inch display so when you hold it side by side you can see that the Z flip was a little bit taller but you know this screen is it's absolutely amazing they call it amyloid not OLED but it's still clear nonetheless but yeah so I mean that's that's basically my first impressions of the Z fold I'm pretty sure that Samsung they're gonna have more foldable phones in the future this year it looks like this took the place of the notes now speaking of the notes the Z fold does have the capability to use the S pen they have a uh, specific S pen that you use uh, for this device because the point on the S pen will retract and um, you know you can press hard and it won't damage the screen they don't recommend you press hard but if you did the the point on the pen would retract now you're probably gonna ask can you use the S Pen from your note devices and the answer is no you have to use the one that says fold on it and you cannot use the ones from the other fold so make sure it says uh, Z Fold 3 or something like that on the package and Samsung they have a case where you can get like a foldable case where you can put the S pen in the case too because you can't there's nowhere to stick the pen on the device but other than that let me know what you think about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 uh, I'm gonna load all my stuff onto it and then I'm gonna test the cameras uh, as always, I'm going to use the device for about two weeks, and then I'll probably have a full review coming up soon. But yeah, that's all I have for now. I want to thank everybody for watching. I love you all, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.